What's up, everybody? Welcome to our first proliferate cube. We had to start over because we were waiting for like the eighth player for like two minutes. But this is the first time we're doing this proliferate cube. So if we're terrible and if we owe three, just kind of deal with it, you know? Just kind of let it happen. I don't see Team J Bro up here, which is interesting. Up, oh, up, oh, there he is. Two trophies. Two trophies. Oh, we're still waiting for this eighth player. This is unreal. You know what? You know what gave me anxiety? Oh, it was perfection. Perfection is the one where it just pops up and scares the shit out of you, right? Like if you don't do it on time. Perfection and also um, operation, obviously. Okay, this is all very interesting. Fuck, I have no idea what to take here. This is insane. Um, this seems real hard. Oh, God. Incubation Druid. Champion of Lampold can win games on its own. I think it's one of the scarier cards. Incubation Druid also very fine. There sure are cards in this pack. You ain't kidding. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to take the Druid. Ugh, scalding Tarn. Beautiful Scalding Tarn. Put the pieces in the slot. Make the right connections. I have yet to see a card that does proliferate. Oh, I guess this guy does. I guess this guy, in a way, in its own way, he proliferates. Is Yogmoth nuts? He proliferates. All right. I'm gonna trust you guys because I don't know what I'm doing. Phylath, World Sculptor. Swords the Plasher just seems great. Malira seems pretty good. I gotta finish grocery shopping. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, Malira seems good, right? Because... Alright. Me, Lyra, it is. Put the pieces into the slot. Make the right connection. Bubby Quick, you're racing the clock. Pop goes perfection. Now it's in my head forever. Ghost Fire Blade. Um, so proliferating onto this seems ambitious because not only do you have to pay the mana to proliferate onto it if you have like an effect but then you also have to pay four to to do it i don't even think his ability is that good because you can't play lands or right? you can play it i guess yeah i'm just taking the two two Yes, but it's cool. I don't know about all that. I'm going to take Hooded Hydra. I think Hooded Hydra is great. Put the pieces into the slot. I kind of like Hadana's climb here.
Yeah, I'm just gonna take the climb. Maybe that flooded grove comes back, huh? Pop goes perfection. Oh. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed, I guess. Ooh, Baleful Strix. Also, Moo Yanling. I'm going to put this guy over here for now. I'm going to take the Moo, because it keeps us in two colors rather than three. I feel like I'm always... The first the first draft every cube for me is always, like, blue-green. For some reason, I'm just attracted to these cards. I wonder if psychologically there's a reason for that. Cytoplast Rootkin. Uh, under his battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on each other creature you control with a 1 1 counter on it. Move a 1 1 counter from it on. from a creature you control onto him. I remember this guy being real sweet. I'm gonna take the Rootkin. It's a 4 4. Oh, what up, Scoony Love? Oh, the Flooded Grove did come back. God, he's so good. How does he do it? But be quick, you're racing the clock. Pop goes for faction. Oh, deep below skate. When it enters the battlefield, double the number of each kind of counters on any number of permanents. Yeah, that seems like the thing I want to do. Imprisoned in the moon. Stormfleet Airless seems fine. It's a 2 3 flyer that could be a 3 4 flyer. Sure, I'll take that. Urtai's meddling is just a steal thing, right? No. Interesting. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, I'll take a Whirler Rogue. Actually, Sigil of Distinction is pretty insane. I didn't even look at this. 3-3 three, three with Vanishing 1. Whenever another creature on his battlefield, put a time counter on it. So it's a 3-3 three, three for 2. That can just keep on growing. Ooh, Chasm Skulker seems fantastic. Voril also seems pretty sweet, but I think Voril has less likelihood of tabling considering it's blue-green. I'm taking this Chasm Skulker. I bet Voral comes back. That's my guess. Thank you. Oh, what up, Brett? Thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Oh my god, you are a hero, dude. Brett's like, Thank you know what? I'm just going to give out 10 subs today. And that's why we love him. Brett, you're awesome, dude. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Missouri. Thank you. I'm just taking the Azuri, right? Thank you. 
That seems sweet. And there's a bunch of cards I wouldn't mind coming back, like Watcher, Search, Thank Zaheed. You. I got my notification early and came on and you were offline already. I was like, uh, no. Yeah, it was a short one today. Oh, Colonian Hydra? Whenever it attacks, double the number of counters on each creature you control. Yeah, that thing is Thank friggin' bananas. Yeah, there, I was out of sync, so I just restarted my computer. Also, Windows had an update, so Thank it took about a minute longer than I wanted it to. Unbelievable. Put the pieces into this. Why is this stupid perfection song stuck in my head? I had to do sleuthing in the 13 minute clip. 13 minute clip? Was it 13 minutes? There's no way. Oh, it was probably like, oh, it was 12 minutes of like, or 10 minutes of, uh, of countdown and then three minutes of like, liveness. Yeah. All right. I was like, I was like, there's no way I was on for 13 minutes. Put the pieces into the slot. What do you guys do after you put the pieces into the slot? You make the right connection. How much do you have to donate for you to stream yourself playing Perfection while you sing that song? Well, I don't own Perfection, so you'd have to... I'd have to have a copy of Perfection first. Animating Fairy. Target non-creature you can use a 0, zero 4 one, one counters on it. Oh, Avenger of Zendikar? Oh, Bioessence Hydra, though? Oh, wow. This seems surprisingly awkward. Guys, is it Avenger of Zendikar? Or is it Bioessence? It's got to be Avenger, right? Hydra? We only have one Planeswalker, though. taking Hydra. I'm taking Avenger. Also, Bio Instance Hydra might come back again because it's blue-green. Look at this. Look at this little turtle Hydra. Steel Bane Hydra enters with X one encounters that remove one encounter and destroy an artifact. That guy seems good. Look at that. I'll take it. Evolution Sage? Oh, wow. That's gotta be bananas, right? Whenever a lander is about to proliferate? Oh, for sure we're doing that, dude. Eh, I'll just take Sonic Blast. What were we hoping to table? Some good stuff. Primal Might seems great. Look how many X spells we have right now. Um, I do like a Crawl Harpooner. That guy seems fine. Technically, it's Mana Rock Tribal. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I want to take the Crawl Harpooner because it kills things. Try, um, let's take Vivid Creek just for the fixing. Meadowmized Prophecy, sure. Oh, what up, Sammy? I guess going to give it to you. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty solid name. Guys. Guys. Are we playing Hydra Tribal? Look at all our Hydras so far. What is this stupid thing? Elemental Mutant. Okay. Oh, what up, Beer Man Man? Alright, so the next pack, we just want Planeswalkers, right? I heard that Blastin makes you feel good or something. I don't know. I'm not the internet. You know what, though? That's probably correct.
Song of Fraley's. I was actually hoping this would come back. Putting 1-1 one, one counters on all of our creatures is... This card is great. This is a colonnade. That's a good looking colonnade. I got some of those guys coming courtesy of Cool Stuff Inc. This is a proliferate cube, but it's also got a bunch of artifacts in it. Each creature you control with the plus one plus one counter is flying. That's actually pretty good. I think it's Skatewing Spy. Palm Bright Druid is cute, but like this card actually just seems like a blowout, right? It just it almost is like, hey, all your guys are unblockable. Put the pieces into the slot. I mean, I really like Inscription. I think this card's probably too good to pass here. I'm going to put it at 5 because I probably never don't want to kick it. Flying is pretty much unblockable. I just found your Twitch through your podcast. I just want to say that I love your podcast so much. You and Rob are hilarious. Tar, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate that. I'm actually going to copy that and send it to Rob so he can see how appreciated he is. That is such a great compliment. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Okay. Another Hydra. X counters. When it dies, you gain life and draw cards equal to its power. So, this guy's expensive, though. Draw a card for each creature with a 1-1 counter on it. We're taking this guy, for sure. I bet that 19 mana Hydra comes back. I was really disappointed to know that all the inscriptions, there isn't a cycle of them because they just gave up when the, when the white and the red ones weren't good enough. They were just like, eh, we can't think of anything good. And it's just kind of like, could you try harder? Because <laughs> it feels so weird to have this unfinished cycle. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate that the, the cycle itself is Sultai. But, uh... You know. Hmm, Volcanic Island. Hmm. I mean, Tuscard Captain is probably fine. Ruin Expedition is also pretty decent. Just draw two cards. Yeah, I'll just take the draw two cards. We already have 18 creatures. Simic Manipulator steals guys, right? Remove a 1-1 one -one counter from Simic Manipulator. Gain control of a creature with power less than or equal to the number of 1-1 one -one counters. Remo remove this way. That seems very hard to manage. One one for Shut three. Up and take my money. Oh, proliferate. That's actually pretty nice. Homer Simpson. I wrote a new jingle. All it needs is an ending. I was thinking something along the lines of, "Bustin makes me something something." Feel good. Spark double seems fine. We got some cuts to make, guys. Pop goes perfection. <laughs> yeah, make cards like Euro and Oko and can't think of white or red cards. You're like, I don't know, man. If we make it blue or green, I could probably think of one. But, you know, for white and red, I just, I really don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Bustin' makes me go crazy. Don't mind if I do. I feel like that's what Kurt was looking for. Or Homer Simpson, should I say. I just assumed it was Kurt. 
Yeah, I'll take a night about him. None of these are impressive. Let's take Blast Sun, I guess. Why is there a proliferate but no conliferate? Beer man, man, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Tusk Guard Captain came back. Wandering Fumarole. Eh? What about a casual liferate? <laughs> I don't know if I have it in me to go pro. Yeah, sometimes you just want to... You just want a filthy casual liferate. See, again, now we have one Mu Yanling for this Bioessence Hydra. And that's the only Planeswalker we have. Which is why I don't think it's great. And it might not make the cut. It's just a 4-4 four -four with Trample otherwise. <laughs> How's the Pro Cube going for Pro Frank? I mean, this is Frank's first, first go at it. I'm going to take Leech Monder out of here. Oh, this is 23 right now. Alright, well, let's see if there's a better cut then. Gnarl and Colony's kind of meh. I'll take out Crawl Harpooner instead. Actually, Bark Hide Troll seems very, very good. I think this actually looks fine. Put the Reborn, put the Greek, put the other thing in. 5-9? I mean, I get that we have... This is 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8. 10, 8? Alright, let's do that. Make the right connection. It's also nice to know that a Flooded Grove and a Green Source can cast a Mu Yanling. Or an island in a flooded grove can cast a bark hide troll. I have no idea what I'm doing. Did we draft any banned cards? You know, I don't know. I think we're going to keep this. All we need is one land to make it beautiful. I mean, a land here would be great because then we can play Incubation Druid without having... Ugh. Yeah, we're just going to take the risk. It's not a... Oh, wait. This works a different way. I'm an idiot. 
I thought it was when it came into play, I put a counter on a thing. It turns out it has graft. So, I'm stupid. Wow. So now we can actually go Incubation Druid graft onto it. Oh, this is much better than I thought. Oh, dear. This taps for three next turn. That's something. Don't kill it. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. I mean, what are the odds he was going to live one turn, right? What did you get from Wendy's? I got an Asiago chicken sandwich with no bacon. And it was a medium combo. Is Twitter down for anyone else? Mine hasn't updated for an hour. I don't have a Twitter. Also, I don't have a Twitter. Sure. Oh yeah, Mediocre Magic Man, I definitely got it spicy. They're like, do you want a homestyle? Spice your grilled. And I'm like, spicy. Well, a land, a land would be sweet here because then we can go Chasm Skulker or Hadana's Climb. I don't ever want to feel. Like I did that day. Something went wrong. Very enlightening error message. Oh boy. That's probably why that Wendy's closed. <laughs> hey, how come this Wendy's closed? Yeah, they never asked you if you wanted spicy, uh, home style or grilled. Wow, they really have the perfect answer for everything I'm playing. That's very good. Congratulations. Take me to the place I love. Thank you. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Kyers, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Brett, thank you again for the resubs or the gifted subs, buddy. Well, they have two cards, we have four. So it's basically a million more. One thing we could do is go, if we hit a land, we can go Bark Hide Troll, play a land, proliferate onto it. Yeah, I guess we're taking seven here, because that's totally normal. Okay. Um...
Did I get my experience counter? With power two or less. It's terrible. I was in the other room, so I gotta catch up. One, you got red hot chili pepper stuck in my head. Yeah, you deserve it. Two, yeah, Twitter isn't working for me either. Three, as someone who's trying to get away from Facebook, I dig your newly found presence on Twitter because it's all rad political F45 posts. I definitely have found a um, uh, an enjoyable outlet in reposting all of the all of the retweeting all of the shit. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I live. Take me all the way. Well, I'm not attacking here because we're at five. Do you watch some more news? Yeah, I actually just watched the some more news video today, which kind of got kind of got on my nerves. Some more news is a channel hosted by Cody Johnson, and I love his reporting. He's really, really good. Um, my problem with today's was that I think we need all the help we can get, and I don't think we need to shit on. I, I just don't think shitting on Biden really does anything. I don't think it's beneficial for us trying to, uh, you know, not have Trump win. You know, so. Uh, I have an all you can KFC across the street for me. Oh, 10 bucks for a limited KFC again, 10 pounds for a couple of months. Good grief. So it's 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 basically a post. Uh, his video today was basically about um, how Biden's not great, but he's not Trump, and that's the most important thing, right? And I get that. I agree. But, like, I don't think bringing attention to negative qualities of the candidate you want to win is really what's what's going to help us here okay okay well we're going to double block this guy anyway but i don't ever want to be so, so so the only way this guy survives i think we're going to lose evolution sage here but I think that's fine. Here I am on Twitch trying to hide from US politics. I mean, politics are part of life. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I try not to talk about politics frequently. But, I mean, I'm not going to... I mean, it's, I, think it's, I think it's a part of who I am. And, like, I tried to avoid it on Facebook and on Twitter for the longest time. But, like... I feel like as someone in the position I'm in, I feel like I kind of have a, almost a responsibility to, 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 if I can, if I can facilitate change or facilitate someone's opinion in any way, um, I, I feel like I kind of have a responsibility to do that almost. So, I mean, you know, I'm not going to talk about politics a ton, but you know, it's, it's not to say like, it's not. I'm not going to feel bad about it when I do, you know. I live in the reddest state in America. It's frustrating. I'm trying to figure out, like, what the reddest state would be. What would the reddest state be? Arkansas? Like, Kansas? Somewhere around there? Oklahoma. That does sound pretty red. So we can either play Hydra or we can play both of these. And I'm at five. So... I don't know. This also lets us keep up regeneration mana, which is nice. Or hexproof mana, I guess. I think I'm in like... I think I'm in these two guys. I'm just going to pass here because being at five is pretty scary. They have three guys. One of them has Menace. It's 
It's also kind of surprising to me how much coverage U.S. elections get outside of the U.S. I, I actually didn't, I didn't actually know about that. Is it high? Is it a high level? Yeah, DeSantis is kind of a turd, and I, I am glad to say I voted for Gillum before I moved, but... I'm in a red state that's been turning blue for years and might flip this time around for the first time in decades. Destiny Trigger, what state? Also, it feels like right now, like especially this particular time, three weeks from a major election, probably the most important election of our lifetimes. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to just, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that on stream. Like, I mean, like, why? I mean, like, eh. Arctic Avenger, thank you for the reset, buddy. I also, I'm, I'm well aware that I think a lot of my viewers and followers and supporters, like, uh, do have similar, not all, I would say, but I think a large majority have similar uh, progressive viewpoints as, as myself. So hopefully I'm not alienating anybody. That is definitely not my intention. progressive viewpoint all all humans should be treated with respect is that progressive did i did i alienate anyone maybe right like it's so weird because i'm like let me talk about climate change and you're like oh i want to talk about politics and i'm like i swear it's not a politics it's not a politics thing i swear climate change and and science and you know like these are not political but it's so funny how how polarized everything has become I'm in Canada. I see a video pop up on my news feed almost daily. Yeah, it's, that makes sense. That I can see. Thank you. J Chart, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. A sub anniversary sounds way more sexual than it should be, but here we are. Happy anniversary. Well, it's only eight months, right? That's not a that's not a true anniversary, right? No one has an eight month anniversary. What's going on here? T -t -t Today, Junior. It's been like four minutes. So, despite the fact that like, I think they drew a lot of answers for our things. They're they're kind of stuck on lands here. They can't activate stirring wildwood. They only have white, white, red, white, green. Oh boy. <laughs> Octopuses have eight month anniversaries. Do they? I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm going to pause it until... Oh, they finally played a land. They played a Twilight Mire. I saw a fun argument this election might mean the uh, the, the least of any... That might mean the least of any in your life, since they're both corruption things. Do you dis disagree? We're all three equally likely with both one. Uh, dis disagree. 
Whether deficit spenders of the highest caliber and disagree. Trump talks big game about getting big coal back, but it hasn't been. So will make the promise on any original so will impact quality of life in the Middle East. Uh, dis disagree. Uh, <laughs> just none of that. Just none of that's true. Is the thing like? I mean, like anyone who looks at at the policies of Biden is it's like it's this. This is not. These are not the same by a a country mile. So. When a player casts a spell, you may put a 1-1 counter on Forgotten Enchant. Being able to keep you may remove any number of counters from it. Under yeah, that's fine. That's a 0-3 for now. Colonial Hydra it up, I guess. Yep, you can get a counter. Oh, this is uh, whenever it attacks. Okay, sure. So. Three. I kind of want to hold this guy back for blocks. Let's get in there with one dude. You can leave arguments like that on the quartering YouTube page. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, good gravy. That's gold, dude. Absolute gold. Move those counters. This seems like a hard card to program because you can move any number of those counters from, from it onto other creatures. You can be like, one to here to here, one to here to here. And it's like, those are each individual actions. <laughs> yeah, leave is L-E-V-E. -E. So instead of an A, you hit the caps lock. <laughs> that's, that's, that's beautiful, man. That's a wild, uh, what a wild ride. Okay, so this is going to be like a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, they all have Menace now. So I have to block both of these dudes. Oh, big kerns? I have one card. What's the hold up here? I guess they can activate Stirring Wildwood. Attack with all three. And... Winding Constrictor. Okay, so this guy gets two counters. I guess it's going to get two counters anyway. Sure. Oh my god. Chris is messaging me. 
and saying some rather comical things. So I'm laughing. I'm having a good time. Oh, wow. Very aggressive. And we're just taking two. They have no cards in hand. So we lose one of each of these guys. I assume they're going to take out Azuri and... Oh, they have to take out Malir here, actually. So that's actually fine. And then we're obviously keeping Colonian Hydra. Don't they just lose here? Because this doubles the counters on this. And this. And it's 22 damage with... Yeah, they're just dead here. Yeah, Chris is sending me that beautiful bean footage. I'm like, Chris, roll it. I don't necessarily understand this attack. They have no cards. They can't activate during Wildwood. I really just want to be able to attack with this. Because that seems like it's going to be... Oh, this is going to be bananas, though. Oh, my God. You know, for the, for the lulls. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, gee. 8, 16, 22, 37, it looks like. Didn't see any flyers. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think our deck is fine. 37 damage. I have no idea what that attack was. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Actual picture of Nifty Chris. <laughs> oh, God. And this is the picture that was was in the, was in the clip. Come on, Land of War Reborn. Dang it. Stink City. Yep, that guy's pretty good. Like, uncomfortably good. <laughs> Technically, I've never been in the same room with Duke, so... Or have you been? Huh? Oh, good. Put a counter on that guy. Yep, four or five. Standard all over again. This is problematic. I almost want to inscription onto this guy and just kill their Jang Jangangu. <sighs> Feels bad. Yep. Still one, two, three. We have seven mana next turn, which is pretty decent.
I am worried about, like, Winding Constrictor is just a very, very strong magic card, especially in a proliferate cube. Jesus. Oh, they didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. This guy costs five? I think it's just Skatewing Spy and Mu Yanling. I don't think it's Armorcraft Judge yet. And we can block this guy now, so that's decent. So many vivid lands. So many vivid lands coming down. Mm. I just knocked my drink over. Can you imagine that? Huh. Well, that's pretty good. I think I'd rather just have Mu Yanling alive. So eight mana now, huh? Okay. Or five mana. If we want to attack and get the counter on this. I'd like nine mana to play both of these. X is its power, so 12? Well, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Essence Scatter. Okie dokie. We will be stream rating for sure.
we have 13 minutes, they have 7. It's a sizable, uh... Okay. Trample. Seems good. Well, they make it 12, we take 10. Hadana's climb seems insane. So, that's cool. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right. If only we had a reasonable way to splash this white card. I kind of like Psionic Blast here. I got Sigil of Distinction. Making my way downtown. Incubation Druid into Hadana's Climb seems bananas. So let's see if it sticks. We're just going to keep Psionic Blast up here. I think that's actually fine for now. Uh, one, two, three, four, I have six mana. Do you really want... My roommate finally moved out. Good. Good riddance. Uh, I was checking something right. Okay. Do you really want... 
song to make me cry. Oh wow, this guy being able to get in there seems pretty insane, right? You know what? I don't think I'm going to risk it, really. I think I'll just let them take 12. And I'll be satisfied with me creatures I have on the board. If they could have, but if they could have killed this, I feel like they would have done it. Probably could have killed them there, but that's fine. I think we're still pretty safe here. That's how safe we are. play another that was pretty all right for our first uh our first match what is the rating thing and how do you participate it's stream raiders you can literally click on the link that the bot just posted streamraiders.com slash t slash frank lapore and it's totally free and it's just like a fun thing to do in between uh in between like rounds and things Chris Christie says he was wrong not to wear a mask at the White House and people should take the COVID threat seriously. I hope that my experience shows my fellow citizens that you should follow CDC guidelines in public no matter where you are. Yeah, no fucking shit. God, these people literally have to get infected before they, before they follow the rules. It's unbelievable. I thought I was invincible. Yeah. Amazing. I'm going to listen to nothing but Blink-182 for 48 hours. Do you mean you're going to listen to it for 48 hours straight? Or for the next 48 hours, you're only going to listen to Blink-182 when you'd be listening to music? That time last graph you tweeted with the states was really eye-opening. Yeah, I tweeted it. There was a graph where it's like, where COVID kind of started in a, in a more blue prominent uh, state. Uh... It started predominantly in blue states, basically. Um, and then towards the end, it's like entirely red states. Uh, I'll keep this. I mean, Hadana's Climb's good. If we draw a two-drop, which we have many of, it's great. Starting with Lana Warbit Reborn, it's just nice. Yeah, I'm not doing 48 hours straight. Okay, see, that's... Yeah, see, that seems more reasonable then. If I was like... If I'm going to listen to music in the next two days, the only music I'm going to listen to is The National. That'd be like, okay, well, I might listen to music like three, four times. Don't be a land, be a two drop. Okay. We're just gonna play Hadana's Climb here, even though we have nothing to to climb onto. We have a bunch of I mean we could just play Skate Wing Spy next turn and make it a fourth five immediately. It's pretty good. I will not uh I will not actually move a counter to that guy. Uh no. No, I don't think so. Okay, well that is our only option apparently, so. Four five flyer for four is not bad. 
I approve. Executioner's Capsule. Pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Tower player gains X life for X is greatest power among creatures they control. And we can have a fight. Hmm. I mean, we could just attack for like 10 here, right? Oh, we could actually attack for 14. We could put two counters on this guy. Make it a 6-7. Hadana's climb will make it a 7-8. It'll just disappear. It'll be like a miracle one day. Alright, well, still waiting. Still waiting. Like, we're just going to lose this guy to Capsule next turn, which is pretty frustrating. So I feel like we might as well just make the most of it, right? Might as well nug for 10. Seems good. Can I get that big fat turtle? No, you can get a land though, you stupid idiot. Okay. Well, guess we're gonna die to our own skate wing spy. Seems good. Oh, they didn't proliferate on the Vivid Creek. Amateur hour. Hmm. Well, okie dokie. Chasm Skulker. Yeah, that doesn't do it. He doesn't fly. Okay. Yeah, no real way. I mean, like, again, Night of Autumn would be great, but we don't really have an effective way to actually cast it, so. I will play first. I'll keep it. It's not exciting at all, but...
Wow, wooded foothills, old border, wooded foothills, expedition border. All right, not bad. Give me a blue source so I can play a Zuri. That'd be pretty bananas. There's the Voral. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Land. Okay, sounds good. Seven drop is also pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I kind of want to fight here, but now this is like, we can just fight like this. I think this is worse. pretty good this is fucking unbelievable turn six we missed three land drops okay sounds good we literally don't have a castable card in our hand Double your relic counters, sure. What up, Cyborg Yui? <laughs> Never fails. Without fail, every game. Ten, ten years later. And they still have five cards. That's good stuff.
they're putting a counter on, on their main phase? Sure. Oh wait, this guy's pretty good, right? Double the number of counters. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, and it has infect. They could have just won there. They could have just doubled the counters. No, they couldn't have. They would have would have won. Yeah, that's Shalai. Sounds good. Uh, always no to grab triggers on opponent's creatures. Yeah, okay. Third eight, though? Ugh, God. I have trample though. It's good to know. We're still alive. Does not have trample. Very relevant. Cool. We only have twenty three allies for this boss battle. You guys better get in you guys you guys better get up in here. And put some more units on this board. Last night we had like 40 to 50 per battle. And this is a boss battle. So I don't know how it's going to fare. But... I got three minutes. Oh, before you can play some of the guy? Yeah. Yeah, they played Black Sun Zenith. Yeah, which would have been fine if they didn't have uh, an infect creature. I guess it wouldn't have been fine, but... You know, it's just obnoxious that like they won both games with Corrupted Conscience, because the card seems really strong and uh, kind of hard to deal with. But, we'll see. Oh, I 
Ior Ruin Expedicione. So next turn we can actually play Stormfleet, Aerialist, and Chasm Skulker, putting a counter on both if we want to. Seems pretty good. Oh, well, never mind, just kidding. It's unfortunate. No, why would I do that? See, now we're talking. So we can actually go five and then, no, we can't. Dang it. Um, we need to spend four to, to primal might here and shoot. Man, Affinity's got like five units on the board. Um, yeah. Not. There's no other way to do this, right? Yeah. I think just getting back our Cytoplast Rootkin is pretty important. Oh, 28 allies? Nice. Thank you! Metamorph. Targeting my rootkin. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. No, I don't think I will. Gimpy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's fascinating. Um... You think they block here? Probably, right? Oh, see, Danny, that would have been a much better play. We attack with the Druid. We could have played Stormfleet Aerials as a 2 3, and then we could have fought it with the. Oh, that, see, that would have been a much better play. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this cube. see if they block here no Jesus I'm so tired of having to deal with Elspeth's son's champion bullshit I mean, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with deep glow skate next turn.
cool. What happens if I double the number of counters on this? Would it go to four? And never hit? That could have been a misplay. I actually don't know how that works. Oh, antibody, what's going on? Did you figure out you have a brother and your parents? You're not a one-hit wonder after all? Pull one until you hear you click on the right creature as you drag. Interesting. I don't know if I believe it. Oh wow, that's fascinating. It's less fascinating than Glenelendra. I'm just gonna concede here. This, I feel like this game was messed up from the like we, we. I think we misplayed a couple turns. Oh, the battle's ready? Alright, well. 31 units. I hope it's good enough. I hope it's good enough. I kinda just want I kinda just want a way to draw more cards in here. start this battle while we wait. Okay. I think we're doing fine. Oh, we had to go around this. Okay. Oh, I think we're doing I think we're doing great here. Yeah, this is not even close. Oh yes. Collect my rewards. Okay. This hand looks very good. I'm going to keep it. Ideally, we draw a blue source that's not Vivid Creek, because I want to be able to go Malira. Oh, so good. So now we can either go uh, un unmorphed Hooded Hydra or Hedonis Climb. I think it's... Remove a task counter, then if it doesn't have a task counter, destroy Heliod Punishment. Okay. So you gave her a job. climbing bro
You got it. Thank you. Oh, I like a good turtle. Jay Money, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome, my dude. Zuri, but I think it's actually Hydra here. Hail Hydra. Good grief. This just gives us two four fours next turn. Three four fours. Interesting. I would have probably just bounced this guy. I don't know. I don't know what's better here. Oh, because they, they can counter on the way back down. Yeah, that seems fine. Yep, you got it. Yeah, if you were in Slipknot because you're always wearing a mask, you'd be the most boring member of Slipknot there is. What's your mask? Is it a dead pig face? Is it a scary clown? Oh, it's just a piece of... There's a piece of cloth. Oh, that's not very exciting. <laughs> Big Hadana. You got it. All right, well. <laughs> what if he were one all over him and the only skin was showing was the mouth? Yeah, there you go. That's slip naughty. Two drop. Oh, that's real good here. Jeez. And they're tapped out. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Two. Life. Fight. Cast. You get the counters, I'll gain the life. You'll fight him, and that's the way. But this doesn't matter, I have no experience counters. What does this guy do? Room counter, destroy our infantry chairman, sure. 
So they have to block two of these guys, right? So they can easily go block here, block here. Yeah, I'll just dagger these two. I mean, I don't want to trade Azuri for, like, one the other one. Like, they could easily just block one go to four. Which is what they're going to do. But they still have to block all three of these guys next turn, and Brazen Barber doesn't do that. Uh, I don't like Harpooner because it doesn't do a great job against um, Glenelander or Archmage. And that just trades with Vendillion Click. This hand's not super exciting, but I think the cards themselves are good. I almost kind of want to play Song as well. Song on one. Three mana, Song on two. Actually, Song's not going to do anything, is it? So if we play Song now, it goes to the second verse on turn three. We play a guy. No, Song doesn't seem good here. Got it. So next year we can go climb and song of Fraley's. I roll. No, I didn't want to climb because it's just not very, very mana efficient. Whereas this turn we can deep go escape, puts no counters on anything. We could flip this guy, make it a 5-5. Five, five. This might be the best option. Or we can play Song and Climb. Climb puts a counter on that. I did get a haircut. I'm more concerned with, like, flipping this up so that if they're able to kill it somehow...
Plus the non-creature spells cost more, so next turn both of these would be way more awkward. So I guess this is fine. Oust. Cool. Well, that's obnoxious. That's pretty good. Yep, got all the answers, don't you? Seems good. I mean, at least this this triggers and does nothing, so that's kind of fine. So does this, though. I guess I guess both our sagas are pretty miserable here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do this for four, and then just put a counter on it, and then it would flip. That's probably correct. And they have two cards in hand. And flip it. Also, we can double the counters next turn. One, two, four, five, one. We're, we're two lands shy of like. Oh, God, that's so. F this is so obnoxious, dude. <laughs> Play a creature. Oust. Play a creature. Valor Stance. Play a creature with counters. Fairgrounds Warden. Okay. Seems good. Cards in hand. Double counters. So this guy will never will never be able to get that back now. That's literally just a removal spell that gives him a creature. Sounds good. Yep. Sure. Oh good, I have to draw this again. That's nice. I'll take seven here. Draw my two three again. Seems good. Yeah, all right. Oh, attack for six. I'll go to two life. Be dead to this because I don't have a creature with flying or I can spend six mana to give this flying and uh, have nothing else to do. Well, that was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll have better luck next time we try the pro proliferate cube. And, uh... Yep. It's pretty good. Cool. So, basically dead. There's literally nothing we can draw here, including shitty Barkhide Troll. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.